and at the same time, I understand the law enforcement side, you know, you know, that you have a job you got to do. It is your job to enforce the laws that bound commercial vehicle drivers to, to do our job, the laws that bound us. It is your job to specifically enforce them, more so than to enforce what the general motor public around us does. So, I mean, I, I get that. I understand that. But at the same time, it's just like, You'll see us, and you'll you'll see a car jump in front of us with like 15, 20 feet of space. Now you're a certified officer. You know you have the authority to pull that person over and write them a, and cut them a citation for whatever infraction. Um, if somebody, if I noticed somebody cut uh, anybody else off, and I was going to write them a ticket for it. Um, I, under Georgia law, I would, I would classify that as an improper lane change, and I would have to do a continuation form on the citation to explain why it was an improper lane change. Um, but, you know, it's stuff like that. Like, you're talking about us not being safe for the general motor in public, but it's just, it's like, okay, but you just watch that person put themselves in a position that could cause me to get into an accident with somebody else on the road that could cause them to get into an accident with us, it's just, it just creates um, an endless amount of possible scenarios as to what could happen because said person cut us off or any various form of, of a car around us doing something unsafe. Now that being said, there's a shit ton of drivers, truck drivers out here who do ridiculous things. Too. Like, honestly, to be, to be completely honest, a lot of these drivers out here are about just as bad as these car drivers. Like, you hear truck drivers talk about, oh, that car cut me off, that car cut me off, but yet you'll have a truck driver who, who's, like, passing you. You're doing 65. He's passing you doing, like, 66.5 miles an hour. And it'll hop in front of you with, like, 20 feet of space, and he's not even going fast enough to create any kind of following distance. Like, what the fuck? Like, you're just as bad as the car. And if you, if something happens where you have to get on brakes, the wreck between two semi trucks is way worse. It's going to be way more of a hassle to deal with than the wreck between a semi truck and, uh, you know, a, a smart car. But um, it's just, it gets me where it's just, you know, you have drivers out who do stupid stuff, but it just really gets me when I see people who are car drivers who are out there and they do stupid things as well. So I guess it's a matter of. It seems as if there's a lack of understanding, and I <coughs> understanding what we go through. Now that being said, like I've been saying, they do have a job to do, and even if they do, un, you know, have some level of understanding of what we go through, they still have to enforce commercial motor vehicle laws. It is what it is. Whether we like it or not, that's what they that's what they're getting paid to do to enforce said laws. Um, so it's just like, you know, I, I feel like, honestly, and it's unrealistic, because many people will be like, you know, they have never driven a truck a day in their life and all this kind of stuff. And it's true. Majority of, you know, officers have never driven a semi-truck a day in their life. But the fact of the matter is, you might as well not complain about it, because that's never going to change. You know, the ATS driver, he ain't paying attention. Uh, now he pays attention, at least be over here. Um, so, they're not... Most of them are never going to know what it's like to drive a truck. Most of them are never going to know what it's like to deal with what we deal with. Um, and it's, it's all kind of stuff that goes into our job that the general motor publics don't understand. You know, a cop might try to pull you over and say, you know, you're hogging up the left-hand lane. You're taking too long to pass somebody. You're not passing. Well, what happens if I'm passing somebody, you know, my truck... <coughs> Is a six governor at 65 miles an hour. Said person's governed at 63.5. But my load is 47,000 pounds. His load is 20,000 pounds. You're going to play a, a momentum game when you're constantly doing this. Now, people say, you know, get in the right-hand lane. I am in the right-hand lane for a certain period of time. But realistically speaking, if I'm going to drive 700 miles this day, I cannot sit here behind this dude driving this truck and do 700 miles at their speed. Like, I want to get on down the highway so I can get to my delivery on time. 
I can't drive behind this guy for 700 miles at 62 miles an hour because he's got much slower than me. At some point, I have to go over to the left-hand lane and I have to pass. And it sucks that car driver, another thing, car drivers out here, they're just speeding like a motherfucker. So the speed limit's 70, you know, let's say the speed limit's 65 and I'm doing 65, he's doing 63 and a half, and I get to go around him. I let, I let, and, and I'll do this sometimes, but there's like a line of cars. And I'll probably let like 40, 50 cars by me. And then at some point I'm like, you know what? I gotta get around this guy. So I'll move over to the left hand lane and traffic will build up behind me. And you start playing that momentum game for maybe four, five, six miles to get by this guy until you get by him and then you move back over. But you know, people want to get behind you, flash their lights, the cops want to pull, you know, the officers want to pull you over. You're repeating the flow of traffic. Well, I don't, I don't want to. Like, it's just, it's the nature of the beast. Sometimes somebody's going to have to get inconvenienced. It is what it is. And I'm not doing it to be rude. It's just, it's, it is what it is. And then, but this is also kind of another gripe as to why there's that legitimate argument of why people have a kind of an issue with governed trucks. But I digress. That's that's a whole other topic right there. But um, there seems to be a lack of understanding back to that. So I, I feel like if you put an officer in a, a spot of a truck driver and let him do that job for you know some period of time, when they go back to being an officer, one, you're going to know what it's like to do this job. Two, you're going to better be able to do your job as an officer because you know what the job entails now so you know what to look for more so because you walked a mile in their shoes um and it's, it's kind of the same thing as like being a regular patrol officer you know people love to be like the cops should have done this cops should have done that blah 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 fact of the matter is they i know what it's like to be a regular civilian before i ever became a cop and i also know what it's like to be a cop so I know what it's like to live both sides of that life and walk both sides of that line. I never did illegal things, but I have been pulled over before and I have gotten a ticket before, long before I ever thought about being a cop. So I understand what it's like to be on the receiving end of getting a ticket. And I, so I get that. But also when I was a cop, that didn't deter me from doing my job. If said person needed to get a ticket, then they needed to get a ticket. But that's realistic right there because every cop knows what it's like to live their life as a normal civilian. For being a cop, but out here on this side of things, the commercial vehicle side, nine, I will on the bet 99% of those MCCD officers and DOT officers, and the ones that really enforce commercial motor vehicle laws, they don't know what it's like to be a truck driver. They don't, because that's that's just not an ordinary something. They have to go through a bunch of training and, and doing the job to know what it's like to do this. Once you're born, you know what it's like to be a normal person. For the, all, from that point all the way up to whenever you decide to become a cop. You don't have to go through that to become a DT officer or an MCCD officer or some various option that's enforcing motor vehicle, uh, commercial motor vehicle laws. So, um, what I'm really getting at is, I think the level of frustration that truckers have towards DOT officers is the fact that there seems to be a lack of understanding what, of what we go through. And the violations that we're getting hit for seem to be extremely petty. You know, you want to say something to me for my tail light, and I didn't get pulled over, I'm just saying. You want to say something to me about my tail light, but you'll have this dude that doesn't speak English, who probably is not supposed to even legally have a CDL, driving the truck, his shit is held together by bungee cords and duct tape. One of his mirrors is broken, being held on by a zip tie, and you know they get to just pass on through the scale house like nothing happened. Um, so I mean, it, it is what it is, you know. But just I guess if whoever hears this, we want you to show a level of understanding. You know, I'm not saying go do your job, but show a level of understanding for the life that we lead and what we go through. So don't you try. Yeah.